Okay, say goodbye to these patterns because we're going to be putting up some new patterns for the You Asked For It series. Hello everybody, I'm Lara and welcome to today's video which is going to be all about replacing the patterns for the You Asked For It series where I put up a poll for three patterns and you guys get to decide which of those three patterns I'm going to make. I kind of ran out of time to make the patterns that were up there. I had done my last planning, I think last summer-ish, late summer, early fall, and those are just no longer going to be appropriate. A lot of them were long-sleeved or long pants. The one pattern that I am going to keep, that I'm going to go ahead and make up, but just not for the US for it series, is the McCall's um, 7786 in this version just because I have some lightweight um, yellow fabric that I was going to use up. I have a ton of it because it was going to be curtains and um, it's like a crepe I think and so um, I still need to use it up and so I'm going to make these pants. Otherwise we are moving on to a new batch of patterns and a new batch of fabric. So I tried, I spent way too much time this week <laughs> trying to figure out which patterns to go with which um, fabric and I finally decided probably the easiest thing to do would be to show you guys the patterns, show you guys the fabric that I have in mind overall in general because this is going to be a linen, a, a linen addition to this wall. Um, I have so many linens that I have been so afraid to use. <laughs> I've, I'm finally getting to the point where I feel confident that I can make something out of it and <clears throat> get it pretty, pretty good the first time around. I kind of know my sizing now for patterns and um, I know what to do to fix any kind of fitting problems. So I'm, I decided to throw myself at your mercy to help me decide which patterns to make up and the amount of fabric that I have will help um, decide which fabric to use for the pattern that you guys decide you want to see made. I think it might be easiest to show you the patterns that I've picked out and then I'll show you the fabrics. The fabrics are all here. You can see I have a bunch. And then here are my patterns. So I went through all of my patterns and I picked out the ones that I think would look nice and then also had linen or linen types on the back. I picked like three of each category. So three dresses, three pants, three shirts, and then three bottoms, meaning um, like shorts or a skirt. Let's get started. So new look 6607. I would like to make this shirt since, you know, summer and then because it's fitted, I can wear it under jackets and things in the fall and winters. Simplicity 9274. I just really like the sleeves on this. So it would be this version. Butterick 6932, just this oversized shirt. Then McCall 7390. Um, I like this, but I would do the one with the sleeves and probably leave the pockets off. I think those pockets are, I don't know if you can see, but they kind of stick out from the shirt. I'm pretty sure that would drive me crazy. I might, if I have, I mean, I, I have a lot of cotton, so I might make this up for summer um, out of a cotton. Very easy Vogue 9090 to make this skirt. Vogue 1871 to either make um, this shirt or potentially these shorts. Simplicity 9610. So I like these pants. I like these shorts. Um, I like this. Well, I like the back of this shirt and I'll show you why in a second, but I would have to do it as this or extend this because there's no way I could wear a shirt that short. I would even feel comfortable wearing a shirt that short. But if you can see on this where it's kind of cut out in the back, I don't know, can you see that? I hope so. Um, I imagine you can do the same thing with the longer shirt, 
just use that back from the short shortened version. I think it's super cute. So any of these. New Look 6704. Um, again, it's pretty much both. I like the pants and the paper bag waist is not so high that um, it would, I'm thinking, it would not give a, um, you know, like it wouldn't make me look thick around the middle what that normally paper bag waistbands do. Um, I'm not a fan, but this looks to be very, very short, um, just above the, just above the elastic. So, and it, it's a cute top, you know, a cute waistband. And then I really love this shirt. Simplicity 8243 for these pants. Simplicity 8922 for these pants. But I also have a Love Notions pattern, the key pants. Key, I think it said key. It's C-A-Y-E and I always, I'm always afraid I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's key, um, that are similar to that. And so I might interchange them. I might make the Love Notions ones instead of that. I'm not sure. But when I put it up for vote, I'll be putting it up for for this, this type of pant. Um, Vogue Patterns, 1729. Again, I just think these are so cute. And, um, they would be very flattering. Okay, and then last but not least is the dress patterns. So that is McCall's 7120, and it would be either this dress, maybe a little bit longer, because if it comes to above my knees, I'm not able to wear it to work. So I have to, whoop, I have to have it below my knees. So I would extend that if I needed to, because sometimes the things that, because I'm short, Sometimes the things that are um, above the knee or like to mid calf actually end up being about three to four inches longer. <laughs> so um, we'll see what happens. The other thing for um, the linen that I have a lot of, cause I have some, I have like the biggest cut of linen I have is four and a half yards because I was going to make a kirtle and I'm not going to make a kirtle anymore because I want to wear this linen because it's so pretty. But anyway, we'll get to that. Um, this dress with maybe these sleeves was the other thing I was thinking. This dress by itself, this long dress is, um, well, with the sleeves, it is three yards, well, two and a quarter yards for what I would need. So if I have three yards or four yards of linen, I think I could do the sleeves with the, with the dress. All right. <clears throat> Then McCall's 8212 for view, what view is that, C? I would, again, depending on how long it is, I might be lengthening it, but if it comes down to, you know, just below my calf, I would, I would just leave it alone. I would want the sleeves on it because I would like to wear it for in the winter as well. And quite honestly, you know, you wear things to work and um, the office is cold, so. <laughs> It's okay, it'll all work out. The one thing I do not like is that it looks to be um, elasticated cuffs. Like this shirt is elasticated cuffs and every shirt I've made has elasticated cuffs and I have decided I hate elasticated cuffs. They ride up and then they stick and they don't feel comfortable. So I will be switching those out from now on. I'm going to be putting on just cuffs. So um, it shouldn't be too hard. I think I've done it before. And so that would be a modification to that one though. And then last but not least is um, Vogue 1698. And it is this dress um, or this dress as long as I can make it <laughs> because depending on the fabric. View B has four and an eighth. It's my old eyes. I can't see. I think it's four and an eighth of um, fabric so that four and a half yards of fabric would you know it'd be fine for this but if I do this one and a little bit shorter I can use any of the other linens so after you get done watching this video and seeing the lovely linens that I have um, please go over 
and select which pattern you would like me to sew up first. Um, it's going to st I'm going to start out with um, a poll of regarding the shirts because I have been trying to find shirts to wear with the skirts that I've made and I have none. <laughs> so I need some shirts and so um, I will, you know, for summer. I have some for winter, of course, but so please go do that in a minute. First, finish watching this video because I am quite proud of my linens. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is a stash from probably two and a half years. I've just been buying linen from, most of them are from Fabric Mart, but when they were on sale, I would just um, buy them and now I have a bunch of them. So this first one though is actually from Joann's. It looks more blue on the camera than it does in person. It's a nice green te teal, a nice green teal. So this one, I have it written down here, how many I have of each. The teal is two yards. So that's that one. Let's put that back. Okay, now this one is one of my, the ones from Fabric Mart. Most of these are 60 inches wide, especially if they came from Fabric Mart. This one is a pomegranate and it's got these beautiful little flower type leaves on it. It is, let's see, this is the four and a half yard one. I love this one. It's a European linen. It's really um, nicely textured and woven and I just love it. Okay, this one I got from Fabric Mart. It's a viscose linen blend, I believe. And it's the stripes. It would be really nice, I mean, like to do this pattern with the sideways stripes. And um, but there's not enough to do this dress. So that's where I would be like, as long as I would do this one as long as I could um, in it, with it. But then here is a pretty orange linen that I believe I got from Fabric Mart. This was a linen that I got for my son for one of his projects. And then um, we switched out this orange linen for his, for my red wool, for his um, pants. I have, how much of this? Three yards, it's a bottom weight. I mean, you can feel it's definitely bottom weight. Okay, <clears throat> the next linen is this beautiful white and it is from Fabric Mart. I had gotten a whole bunch. Um, whoops, I'm trying to show you how see-through it is. I had gotten a whole bunch to do um, sh a shirt for my son when I was doing the 18th century, I think, suit. 18th century, 19th century, 20th century, 19th century suit, because it would have been, it was uh, 1860s, I think, but anyway, I was, uh, I got that to make him a shirt. I never made the shirt. So I have three yards of this, which I thought this would make that oversized shirt. I thought this would be beautiful. This is a straight linen, European linen from Fabric Mart. And you, can you see how it shifts kind of colors? There's a very pale yellowish, um, red that runs through it. So depending on how the light hits it, it has a sheen. Of course, I haven't washed it yet, but um, it just it just changes. It's so, I just love it. This is a purple linen, very purple, like my, like I think I mentioned um, when I was doing my cape that the most recent cape that I, this, this color of purple, for some reason I just bought it in a variety of different forms. This is a thicker, um, probably a medium weight linen. And so this would be more for pants or a skirt or a jacket, I suppose, but I don't want to do a jacket. Not right now. I'll do that later. I just made, I'm almost done with my coat. So there is two yards of this fabric. And then this was some linen that I had that I used for my son to do the, it wasn't really cosplay, but kind of cosplay last year. 
and this I made his shirt so I have a yard and a half left of this and so um, that's pretty much probably going to be well yeah it's probably going to be shorts that's what I was thinking so if you guys decide you want to see some shorts that's what it's going to get made out of first then there's this one and I got this has that same can you see it has that same kind of yellowish tan thread so that it it just changes um, changes kind of colors as you're looking at it it's got that really nice geometric kind of print and then there's just a hint of blue I love this It's so pretty and last is this white floral blend it is so pretty I got this from Joann's and I think it was on sale on clearance but is that not the most beautiful print? I love it. I don't normally do tan, but the colors are so, sorry, the colors are so vibrant that I just, I could not not get it. And again, it's four yards. <laughs> I have so much of it because I was like, oh, that would be lovely for a dress. Oh, that would be lovely for a dress. So now I have a lot of big cuts of fabric and um, you know, I, I just need to use them up. As you can see, I took two two things I store, some of my fabrics I store in these plastic bins and um, it takes up tube. So I'm ready to use them up, start clearing out my stash a little bit and I hope that you will stick around to help me with that. And um, you know, we'll just put up the poles and I'll sew up what you want me to sew up and then we'll move on to the next one until it's all gone. So, um, so let that be, you know, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so that you can um, kind of keep tabs on that. Also, if you're not subscribed, but um, you want to kind of follow along with some other things, I hope that you will join me on Sunday when I have my next video, which is Slow Sewing Sunday and I've got some updates on the different slow sewing projects um, that I've been working on. So thank you so much. Um, please run over right now and go take a, take a vote on the poll and we will get something made up soon, okay? Hopefully see you Sunday and um, I guess that's all. Thanks, have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.